Number 15. The Mob Whether in the darkness of night or in broad daylight, the open road is one of the most unpredictable places known to man. For instance, watch what happens when an angry mob targeted this driver's vehicle. At around 6 p.m. on a Monday, near Calais, France, while transporting potato chips from Belgium, Mick Young's truck was attacked by a group of livid men whose makeshift camp had been partially demolished. More than a dozen men descended on Young's vehicle, some with concrete, all filled with anger, and the entire encounter was caught on dash cam. The men threw rocks of granite at his window, two pieces of which went through his windshield, resulting in 2,500 euros worth of damage to the truck. Young suffered injuries to his eye and forehead and feared for his life as the attack occurred. This doesn't seem to be the mob's first offense. Young said more driver protection is needed in this area. While the video only shows about a dozen men, Young noted that there were about 30 or 40 out of sight on the hard shoulder of the road. Number 14. Passed Out This entry comes from Texas, where a woman was discovered by Fullshear Police Department passed out on the center of a dark highway early one Saturday morning. The dash cam footage from Sergeant Scott's car reveals the moment he came across the motionless body lying in the center of the road. The footage shows a vehicle missing the woman by a hair, having to swerve to avoid her. This is when Sergeant Scott springs into action, rolling to a stop in the middle of the road, flashing lights on. Scott races to the woman's side and helps her up. She stumbles to the side of the road. The woman had driven her car into a ditch nearly 200 yards from where she was. Instead of calling for help or flagging down passers-by, she crawled onto the road to take a nap. While it's surprising that no one stopped to help the woman, apart from Sergeant Scott, she should thank her lucky stars that no one ran her over. Number 13. Face Down on the Road This one is terrifying, as the motive of this person is still unknown. It happened on Thornlie Road. The unidentified woman who posted the video said that her and her father were driving when she spotted the strange shape on the road, and as they approached, she noticed the figure was a human body. She knew then that something was wrong. She realized it was not just any human body, but that of a teenage boy. As the vehicle rolled to a halt, the boy in question jumped to his feet and in a zombie-like stride approached their vehicle. The woman told her father to drive off. He reversed a bit and then started forward, and the boy approached the woman's window. She said later that had she been alone, she isn't sure how she would have reacted. She believes the boy was hoping to catch someone driving solo so early in the morning, not a pair of people. Somebody could have easily seen him lying there and stopped and got out of the car, and I have no idea what would have happened then, she said. Number 12. Spirit Child While driving over a long period of time, it wouldn't be unusual to hallucinate a sighting on the side of the road, a deer or a cow perhaps, but might an entire car full of people see the same hallucination at once? While driving in the Philippines, a group including actress Myrtle Sorosa was traveling across what the narrator describes as a far-flung area. They had to take an alternative route from the original as one was flooded while another was shut down due to a landslide. After enough road was cleared to cross, they traveled across the mainly deserted uninhabited area. No street lamps some trees but mainly just road it was after midnight when out of nowhere they saw it Are you
What appeared to be a 10-year-old child wearing a bluish-white shirt crouched in the middle of the road with his arms and hands covering his face. An uproar can be heard on the video as they pass the figure, and most of the people in the car claim to have seen the boy. They wanted to stop and return, but the area was unsafe, so they decided to watch the dash cam footage to make sure that their eyes weren't deceiving them. The footage showed a white blob-like orb figure appear and then quickly vanish. The driver believed the spirit they saw was of a child who had his life taken by a typhoon. According to one passenger, if he was really just a spirit, I hope he can find rest. If he was really a child, my conscience will forever haunt me. Number 11. Close Call When police officers stopped to assist a car that had broken down on the side of Southeast Loop 820 in Forest Hill, Texas, they probably weren't thinking this was a super risky call, but they'd be wrong, as the three police officers and two motorists awaited a tow truck, lights flashing, a vehicle sped at top speed towards them, completely out of control, and they nearly didn't notice until it was too late. You can see in the video that the group is oblivious to what is about to happen, until one officer spots the vehicle flying in their direction just in time to throw the group out of harm's way. The car sideswiped one police car, slammed head-on into another, and barely avoided the broken-down vehicle and all the people milling around on the shoulder. After plowing through, the rogue vehicle ricocheted back into traffic, but then returned to the roadside, where it screeched to a halt. When the car stopped, Police hurried to remove the driver. Unsurprisingly, 26-year-old motorist Cedric Keith Henson Jr. had been drinking and was detained at the scene. Although no one was hurt, they very well could have been. Number 10. Mask On The audio of this dashcam video will haunt you. At around noon in October 2014, in Indianapolis, Indiana, a woman was sitting in her car outside an office building with a dash cam recording in process. In the video, a person can be seen walking past her vehicle wearing a strange mask, while the footage only shows one individual. According to the woman, there were five of them total out of sight. You can hear the woman laughing as she asks the group where they got their masks. But soon she learns that this isn't a joke as they smash out her windows and rob her. The woman was pulled out of her vehicle by her hair and thrown on the ground by a woman in a face mask and camo jacket. The attacker then took the woman's cell phone and purse. It seems this wasn't the group's first attack of the day. They were also charged with breaking the window of a moving car. Looks like we're not even safe sitting in a parking lot. Number 9. Mudslide how does it feel to be caught in a mudslide? One California Highway Patrol dash cam has the answer. This patrol vehicle's dash cam managed to capture the Montecito mudslide prior to its arrival on the freeway. At the time, the officers were responding to reports of a structure fire in the area in the morning of January 9th. This was before reports were made of the mudslide. Mike, get in the car. Mike, get in the car. Get in the car, Mike. Get in the car. Get in the car. As a result, the patrol vehicle slammed straight into the mud flow on Olive Mill Road, where it was lifted slightly from the road, its wheels spinning. The mud flow took the vehicle on a 180 degree whirlwind before it was able to regain traction. After being taken along with the flow for a while, they were eventually able to get ahead of it. The officer stopped only to shout at a pedestrian to get out of here. Then they called in the incident 
and inspected their vehicle at Coast Village Road, but the mudslide soon caught up with them and sent them packing again, demonstrating how quickly this sludge moves and how unexpectedly it may appear. Number 8. Witchcraft In June of 2015, police officer Malik ventured into the woods and managed to capture something incredibly unexpected on camera. In the video, as Malik drives his routine patrol route, he starts to turn off-road, where he encounters a scantily dressed woman. At 3.41 in the morning, the temperature outside is very cold, so the woman's clothing choice is very strange. In the video, as the police vehicle approaches, the woman's flame burns brighter. With her arms crossed, she appears to be levitating ever so slightly off the ground. She doesn't move as the police headlights spotlight her, that is, until she extends her arms in a gesture. Seemingly ritualistic, witchcraft isn't always dark. Some who practice witchcraft or wicca are attempting to exploit nature's spiritual and elemental forces by forcing their energy via practice rituals in order to find a sense of harmony and balance with nature. But of course, witchcraft doesn't get its bad reputation for nothing. Some may practice with a darker agenda. Number 7. Viking Thieves Medellin has become one of the most innovative cities in the world, with one of the fastest growing economies on the continent. Although the transformation of Medellin over a few decades is certainly admirable, as this dashcam video goes to show, a safer city never means a city entirely devoid of bad things. The video's uploader details the entirety of the video, showing that the bikers were stalking out their target at a red light. According to the poster, the bikers even apparently considered the vehicle with the dash cam as a potential target before choosing to follow the vehicle up ahead. In an attempt to get the white car on its own, one of the bikers slows down, keeping the vehicle with the dash cam, as well as the vehicles in the next lane a good distance away from their target. Then as they hit a traffic jam, the bikers make their approach knocking on the vehicle's passenger window. After the two criminals on motorbikes harass their victims, a third guy on a motorbike pulls up beside them, but does not appear to be involved, as he simply cranes his neck at what's happening. The bikers collect and then drive off, with the one in the rear attempting to conceal his license plate with his leg. Too late, buddy. Your actions and license plate were all caught on dash cam. Hopefully, this evidence led to the arrest of these individuals. Number 6. Runaway Toddler A parent's worst nightmare, looking away for a second and their toddler vanishing from their sight. That's what happened to this poor mother when her toddler decided to go on an adventure across a busy highway. Thankfully, police are on the case in this week's list, particularly Sergeant Anthony Menino of Naperville, Illinois. When Menino spotted the toddler's little legs racing along the right lane of Route 59, he quickly pulled over and went into save the baby mode. His heroic pursuit was caught on the police cruiser dash cam, and Menino was later given the department award for life saving. The toddler had somehow ducked his mother's supervision and busted out of his house before setting off. Thankfully, this story has a happy ending. The toddler was shortly after reunited with his family. Number 5. Two Car Takeover This video shows what happens when two cars team up on the road to rob the living daylights out of fellow drivers. The dash cam video, shot in Bedford View, South Africa, follows two vehicles, one a white Volkswagen van, the other a dark colored car, collaborating on the road to A, block traffic, and B, take up arms and rob other motorists. Watch closely as the vehicle marked one pulls over and three armed men jump out to harass the motorist behind them. That is, the one whose dash cam is recording the entire incident. After the thieves presumably collect the money they were after, they shoot off. This is when you can see that the car dubbed 2 has stopped up ahead to block traffic in order for the bandits to weave through with ease. 
the moral of this story. If you're planning to travel to really anywhere, keep any valuables out of sight and be ever vigilant. When you're on the road, you can never be too careful. Number 4. Fire Trucks Overrun This is perhaps one of the most frightening fire-related footages available online. The dashcam footage shows the Pinery Bush Fire in Australia in 2015. The Bush Fire, which was catastrophic, burned 210,000 acres of farmland and scrub and 91 houses. The fire also took the lives of 53,000 poultry, 17,500 head of livestock, and two people, with 90 additional people hospitalized, it is said to have been started by a car battery. Once you watch this terrifying dashcam video, it's easy to see how this fire did so much damage. The video shows a vehicle, presumably an emergency vehicle judging by the sirens, heading towards the billowing smoke clouds along a dirt road. Soon the sky gets darker and the smoke is hazier across the road. As the vehicle closes in on the fire, you can see another emergency vehicle's lights ahead, barely visible through the haze. The clouds blacken further as the dashcam vehicle approaches a fire truck, which has stopped ahead. While all you can see is smoke up to this point, you can sense the fire looming. And then, the fire descends in blue flames to the right of the fire truck. Smoke is billowing, the flames are flying fiercely towards the fire truck, which rapidly retreats, pulling into reverse and plowing into the vehicle with the dash cam. Another emergency vehicle to the left of the fire truck also rushes to get out of the fire's path. The fire is blazing all around the stalled vehicles, debris flying, and cluttering visibility. The fire truck pulls ahead, and for a time, all you see is smoke, debris, and glimpses of flame and ash. This is where the video ends. We can assume that all or most of these firefighters made it out alive due to the fact that this fire took the lives of only two people, but as the dash cam shows, the vehicles engulfed by flames and billowing smoke, it's hard to believe that they survived this. Number 3. Bigfoot. While well, most of this dashcam footage on this list is completely explanatory and without mystery, this one has people watching and re-watching to try and make out what exactly they are witnessing. In the video, a sheriff's vehicle is traveling along a lonely road in the darkness near Frogtown, with only its headlights guiding the way. The area appears forested, with nothing but trees bordering a dark road. The deputy is talking with a local ride-along named Mary Scott as part of a Citizens Law Enforcement Academy program. They're simply chatting as they drive along, not anticipating anything unusual, until an unusual creature appears out of nowhere. A dark figure dashes across the road and alongside the shoulder. <laughs> Did you see that? Yes. Caught on dash cam but nearly indiscernible until the video is digitally enhanced. Both Scott and the deputy cry out in surprise as they spot the creature. What was that thing? The figure appeared to be standing on two feet, not four. According to Scott herself, it was really tall and it really looked like the pictures you've seen of Bigfoot. Well, of course, we can't know for sure what this blob is. One thing is clear. It doesn't appear human, nor does it appear animal. What do you think it could be? Number two, into the flood. When you chase storms, you're bound to feel nature's wrath. That's what happened to Chris Novi, a storm chaser who was following an Oklahoma tornado. When the route ahead of him flooded, Novi attempted to make a U-turn to find a drier alternate route. When an embankment hidden beneath the floodwaters bottomed out his vehicle, an incident that could very well have taken his life, he quickly sunk to the bottom of a creek, traveling several hundred feet underwater as Novi described it. The experience was caught on dash cam, but was cut short when his dash cam shorted out. After the vehicle started to flood, 
Novi said he nearly drowned in the rising waters and was, in his own words, just holding my breath in the darkness, that is, until his passenger and driver's side window smashed and he was flushed out of the vehicle, where he was able to swim to a policeman who was in the area and saved his life. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I recently released a small mixtape and I'd love to know what you think of it. Tap the circle icon in the top right corner, then tap my mixtape to give it a listen. It's also linked in the description below. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos we upload every Tuesday and Saturday. Number 1. Hooded Man that's what motorists near Cessnock were met with when traveling down a lonely road in Australia. In the dashcam video, a man is seen with his head bowed beneath his hood in the center of the road. Behind him is a four-wheel drive blocking the way forward. Not sure what to do, the motorist approaches the makeshift blockade slowly as the hooded man takes a few strides before stopping short. It's then that he launches yelling and shouting towards the vehicle. The motorist doesn't wait. He punches the gas and wheels around the psycho and out of harm's way. A member of Dashcam Owners Australia Facebook page uploaded the video, where it has since gone viral. According to the motorist, his wife was traveling in a second vehicle a short ways behind him, and he tried to call and warn her before she was met with the hooded man, but reached her too late. A man was arrested after the couple reported the incident to police, but he received no charges due to a lack of evidence and whether he intended to carjack the motorists or harm them. So rest assured that this guy is still out there, waiting to scare the wits out of you on a dark, lonely road without any repercussions. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!